Well, ladies, good news, Caleb Coulter said, shrugging out of his coat. It was nearly ten o'clock, and Kenzie had begun to wonder if the men would ever return. The morning was nearly gone. She put aside some sewing she'd been doing and joined the others gathering around Caleb and Patrick. Do tell, brother. Camry stood beside her fiancé. Patrick Murdoch looked down at her with a lopsided smile and slipped his arm around her waist. They were well-matched and clearly in love. Patrick was just the kind of man the willful Camry needed. I spoke with Judge Winters. General Funston has agreed to share some of the relief supplies with us. His boys will bring a load yet today. Caleb reached out to touch Judith's cheek. They, too, were very much in love. Everyone is in love. Everyone but me. Kenzie frowned as Micah came to mind. How easy it would be to give her heart to him. He said and did all the right things. Well, when he wasn't being a pest or making a fool of himself. Kenzie pushed aside her memories. She was determined not to fall in love with him. She had lost her heart once. She wasn't going to be fool enough to do it again. I think we should make a place where we can receive and inventory the supplies, Caleb continued. I figure the dining tables are perfectly situated, Camry said, glancing toward their outdoor dining room. Generally, I'd agree with you, but I saw Mrs. Wong, and she said it was going to rain this afternoon. Like the others, Kenzie marveled at Caleb's former housekeeper's ability to forecast the weather. How are the Wongs? I wish they could have stayed with us, Camry replied. They're well. They're helping their friends and family. Chinatown was completely burned to the ground. The Chinese have lost most everything. And now the Board of Supervisors wants to move Chinatown out, south of Golden Gate Park. Well, away from the city.